Hi, my name is Dylan Philock, and this is for Ball State University, and this is my thoughts on the PDSA Act, which stands for Plan, Do, Study, and Act. Uh, so pretty much my thoughts on the process, evaluation, and the athletic training world. Uh, I think the process and evaluation in athletic training is very important and should be constantly updated for new practices and new findings in our specific practice of athletic training. Our main job as a trainer is to put an athlete or a patient through a rehab process in a safe but a timely efficient manager or manner so we can get our uh, athletes onto our return to play protocol, but we have to make sure that we do that as safely as we can. It's important to be able to diagnose an injury quickly and be able to come up with a course of action that benefits the athlete in the best way possible. This process should be uniform throughout the entire healthcare community with how much we interact with one another. So that way, if as an athletic trainer, we have to send an athlete to you know the hospital or you know a walk-in clinic or anything like that, we can uh, be able to communicate with the healthcare workers that are working on our athlete as well. Um, is there a need for process evaluation? Absolutely, there is a need for it. And uh, the need for the process evaluation and in the athletic training world specifically but, I mean, you could also relate this to the entire healthcare world. Uh, the need for process evaluation is extremely important. It's important to have that process so we can figure out an issue in a timely manner, be able to communicate with one another in the healthcare world so we can give the athlete 110% uh, of our undivided attention and know what we're talking about so we can get them back to playing. Or if it's a patient in a walk-in clinic so we can get them back to you know, work so they can help su uh, supply for their family. Or, I mean, there's, there's a number of different opportunities to where us as healthcare workers need to be on our P's and Q's at all time. Uh, every trainer should have the mindset to create an immediate plan post-injury. Uh, there should always be ideas going through our heads. Um, every trainer, and if the patient is not improving in a week or so, the time span, the trainer needs to be able to you know, sit down, kind of look inwards, reevaluate the, the plan of action, or the process for the athlete because every athlete and every patient is different in how their body reacts to the rehab process. Uh, another part of the process evaluation is that once you notice that your athlete or patient is improving, it's time to move on to the next um, phase of the rehab process. We don't want to kind of linger around in phase one or anything, you know, the acute inflammation phase. We want to start getting into uh, the maturation phase and you know, so on and so forth, so we can get our athletes back participating in the sports that they love or their patients so they can go back to work. Um, the third topic about the PDSA that I thought was interesting and that I wanted to kind of touch upon as well is why do you want to implement process evaluation into your practice? I feel like the answer to that is uh, mildly simple. It's just, you know, I want to be the best clinician, athletic trainer, and be able to provide proper services for my athletes or my patients wherever I end up working at some point. Uh, because they deserve my best at all times. Um, healthcare is something that should not be, you know, messed around with or anything. You know, you got to know what you're talking about and be very filled with knowledge. Um, it'll help me build a, just a dependable reputation and will allow me to open up and figure out what works best with what techniques and, you know, what I feel most comfortable doing or if I need to, you know, freshen up or study up on something else that is new into the healthcare world. Uh, I think it's very important. Uh, every athlete and patient is coming to you because they trust your practice specifically. So, I mean, it's, it's important to have that dependable reputation with them so you don't, you know, you don't want to lie to them or anything or mislead them down a long rehab process that shouldn't be that long of a process. I just think it's very important that everybody in the healthcare field is on their P's and Q's and knows what they're doing just to get everybody back to what they uh, ultimately enjoy doing.